What is going on guys? Sony has recently released the version 2.0 firmware for their A7R3 and A7 III cameras. Stick around, I'm going to show you how to update that and we're going to chat about the new features coming up after this. Alrighty guys, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to update the firmware on your camera. So go ahead and open your browser. I went ahead and typed in Sony Downloads. And I clicked on the Support for Sony Products page. And in the Model Name or Keywords box, type in A7R. And you will see the ILCE-7RM3. Go ahead and click that. And over here, click on the Downloads link. And for today, we are going to select the version 2.0 for Windows. You would click here if you're using Mac. Once the file has downloaded, go ahead and locate the folder that you saved it to. I've saved mine to my Downloads folder. You will see a file named Update ILCE 7RM3 version 2.0. Go ahead and double click that. It's going to run through the WinZip self extractor. Now, while this is doing this, keep in mind, you're going to want to have a fully charged battery. You're going to want to use the cable that came from Sony. I'm using my USB-C -C cable here. Uh, remove the memory card and do not interrupt the camera at all. Do not turn it off or push any buttons while it's doing a firmware update. And even if it seems like it's taking forever, leave it. Do not touch it. You do not want to break your camera. So the USB has to be on the proper mode. So go ahead and hit menu. And you're going to select the tab across the top called Setup 1 and hit Down and page over to page 4 and go down to USB connection and make sure that mass storage is selected. Now you're going to go ahead and plug the USB-C cable into the camera and connect it to the computer. Once this is done, go ahead and hit Next. All right, it has checked. The camera is connected to the computer. We're going from version 1.01 to version 2, so hit Next. It's automatically resetting the camera. All right, now we just hurry up and wait. It may take a few minutes to do. Go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or do something else for a few minutes. Do not touch the camera and let it do its thing. It took about four minutes to run the update, and it is now finished. So I'm going to click Finish, and we are now running firmware 2.0. Now that the update is complete, I would like to briefly go over a couple of the features Sony has listed on their website. Support for two new lenses, the 400mm f2.8 G Master and the 24mm f1.4 lens. New features include autofocus track sense as a selectable option under key settings, adds support for zone, expand flexible spot, and lock on autofocus areas when using the LA-EA3 adapter and improves managing continuously shot images as a group. Now, I've only just now updated my firmware in front of you guys, so I have not had a chance to test drive any of these new features. I will be hopefully updating that within the next couple of days. All right, guys, there you have it. You should be rocking firmware 2.0. Let me know in the comments below if you get a chance to try any of these features, and let me know how they are. If you guys found this content useful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing.